up everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another vlog i have been filming a little bit extra this month it's like my very own version of vlogmas hopefully next year will be the year where i finally do the whole vlogmas experience but for this year i've just been having a lot of fun editing more filming more talking to you guys in the comments more before we get right into this vlog though i do want to give a really big thank you and a really big shout out to one of my favorite sponsors i've ever worked with which is book of the month i have yet again my blue box right here book of the month is basically a online book service they really focus on promoting new and emerging authors their team goes through hundreds of books each month and out of those hundreds of choices that they go through they curate a list of only the best options which is usually five to seven books that you get to choose from book of the month actually just launched curated audiobooks so now you can choose between getting a hardcover or an audiobook whichever works best for you they are having a really really great deal for december where you can get your first book for five dollars which that kind of price you literally can't find anywhere if you guys click the link down below and use code sweater you can get your first book from book of the month for five dollars my two selections this month are these two. This is No One Can Know, a novel by Kate Alice Marshall. And then the one that I'm so incredibly excited about, which I will definitely be reading this month. There she is. This is Josie Silver's new book, A Winter in New York. I actually just picked up One Day in December, which is another Josie Silver book. But this one, A Winter in New York, I'm really, really excited about because I think this one is going to be a little bit more festive and Christmassy than One Day in December. I mean, just look at the cover. I don't need to know anything else about it. Just buy the cover. It's a yes. Once again, a huge thank you to Book of the Month. We're gonna get into this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy, and I love you guys very much. I just ordered this heated curling brush. I saw it on TikTok and I ended up buying it on Black Friday. I have the Revlon brush and I also have the Shark Flexi style, but the thing about those is that they are so incredibly loud. I don't want to be listening to that for like 30 minutes while I'm doing my hair. I hope you guys aren't sick of me yet. I feel like I've been filming almost like every single day. I don't even know what day it is. I literally feel like since Thanksgiving, I've lost complete track of time and I'm just like going day by day. But I'm very excited because I don't know if I'm going to vlog just today or today and tomorrow. But if it's just today, then I hope you guys enjoy this day in my life. I'm actually doing some fun things today or at least one fun thing that I'm really, really excited about. Okay, so my outfit today is super cozy, super casual. I have a little crew neck, the jeans that I've been wearing literally almost every single day and my little shoes that remind me a lot of nurse shoes but they're so comfortable i literally can't take them off this is a taylor swift 1989 merch crew neck i ordered two crew necks this one and another one in august like right after the concert that i went to i was just like so obsessed i was like i need some merch to remember the concert that i went to and i literally ordered it in august and i just got it a couple days ago so in december so i feel like the demand for t swizzle merch is just insane right now I am doing something really, really exciting and fun right now. I am right outside of a Walmart and I'm gonna do a couple of angel trees. I feel like you all probably already know what an angel tree is, but it's basically where you buy a child in your area their Christmas presents. I think it's something so incredibly cool. And actually when I was younger, I don't know if it was like the same thing. My brother was basically a part of like an adopt a family situation. So that year a family actually bought me presents and my brother. I think I was like in first grade and my brother was in third grade, but I literally always think back to that. And it makes me really wanna do the same thing for other kids, even in small ways. I feel like sometimes we think that we have to be like these millionaire people to be able to give back and help out other people. I really do hope they have it in there because I don't know why I was under the impression that there weren't any in my area. So a few weeks ago, I went on like the Walmart Angel Tree website and I went through the process of buying some toys online. Like they have a whole registry for the gifts that they need and you can add whatever toys and stuff to your cart. Then you buy them and they get delivered to the Salvation Army in the area, which I thought was really cool. Like if you guys don't want to do the whole like come to the Walmart situation. You could literally all do it online. There's $10 toys, $20 toys. Anyways, enough talking. Let's go do some angel tree shopping. I'm so sad because I kind of knew this was gonna happen, but I was like, you know what? Let me still go. I asked three different employees at this Walmart and none of them knew what the angel tree was.
shopping for Barbies right now is healing my inner child. Okay, the girl is done. As you guys just saw, I just got done with my little angel trees. My heart literally feels so warm and fuzzy right now because just knowing that everything I picked out, even if it wasn't like the craziest of things, it's still gonna go to a little child and also their parents. That's also somebody I was thinking about. So I remember when we did the adopt the family, my parents were over the moon about it because it's such a good help for the parents. So that was honestly so fun and exciting and I feel really, really blessed and thankful that I'm even able to do that. I knew I wanted to choose a boy and a girl and I ended up choosing a six-year-old girl and an eight-year-old boy and I kind of want to do it again to get a baby. But for today, I did two and I'm feeling really good about it. Anyways, we're going to continue on my day and this vlog. Thank you. You too. Thank you. I am so excited to see this. Okay, we got our dozen donuts that are elf inspired. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. This is so freaking cute. Wow. I'm gonna go with this chocolate one. Last bite. That literally took me like 2.5 seconds to eat. <laughs> I went and visited my little niece for a little while. If you guys saw my last vlog, then you saw that she was born like four days ago. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, four days ago. That's so insane. It feels like she's been around forever. And then it also feels like, who is this little person that I'm like obsessed with? Tomorrow is gonna be my ultimate getting my shit together day. Over the past, I feel like week and a half, it's felt so crazy and chaotic. I've been filming and editing almost every single day. And then my little niece was born. So we've been going to the hospital, waking up early, staying up late the whole thing. However, the one thing that I haven't been prioritizing is cleaning. So tomorrow I'm dedicating a big part of the day to cleaning and just resetting everything, my car, my room, my bathroom. But for the rest of the night, I'm gonna be reading my book. This is Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. I don't think I'm gonna finish it today, which I kind of wanted to because Monday I finished an entire book, Tuesday I finished another book, and I was kind of hoping to keep that going today. But I think I'm just gonna read a good amount of this book and then go to bed. Okay guys, it is Thursday. The first two things that I needed to do today was one, get a car wash as you just saw. It was so disgusting, not just from the inside, but from the outside. So we washed, we vacuumed, we threw a bunch of trash out. And then the first thing that I did was go and get my eyebrows done. I went almost four weeks without getting my eyebrows done and I usually do it every two weeks. So they were just looking absolutely horrific. I was like, I can't go another day because yesterday when I was doing my makeup, I wasn't even enjoying doing my makeup because I was like, no matter how good I do this makeup, if my eyebrows aren't done, I know it's not gonna look good. Let me bring you guys closer. I would take off my glasses right now, but you guys do not want to see what I look like underneath them. I'm gonna go back home and clean, vacuum, mop, the whole thing. After I'm done cleaning, I'm gonna try to do something for the first time. If you guys watch my vlogs, or if you watched literally any Trader Joe's haul or like grocery haul that I've ever done, you've probably seen that I really like getting ginger shots. Any sort of like wellness shot, I really, really like drinking them. And the other day I was like, why don't I try to make them myself? So earlier this week, I went to the grocery store and I picked up ginger, lemon, and oranges. And from Amazon, I got the cutest little reusable glass little jars. Each little juice shot at the store is like three or $4, whereas all the ingredients to make eight ginger shots cost me less than ten dollars so i'm definitely being smart here
wow i don't want to say it's good because if you drink a ginger shot you know they're not good but this tastes exactly like all of the ones i've ever gotten from trader joe's i literally just found my new favorite thing 